Michael and today or this session I would like to share you how to create educational video to be used to support your learning session together with your participant in the future. First I'm using Final Cut Pro video editing. Here is Final Cut Pro video editing and then for your information I already recorded my preview session from my mobile phone and then I transfer into this column here it is and then first I have to drag the file down here and release it this is the only file that I will use I have to check my visual and also my audio so let me check first so I will check from the beginning I will check in the middle, I will check in every seconds, and then I will hear what I'm talking about until the end. Why I checking my own voice? Because I want to make sure that my dialogue is proper and intact in this video. So that is the purpose. I would like to play some part at the beginning and just to understand until which part my dialogue will be used to represent topic first yeah because first of all i heard that i saying about the topic so let me check first so i will check again okay so okay that's perfect and right now i should make sure until which part the the video that i need to stop and then i have to separate it wow thank you very much Sheila. how to become a food and beverage hotelier dan tidak ada ketakutan sama sekali betul kan okay so that's it so that part will be used for topic so i'm using the blade here and then i'll place here and then i'll cut it Okay, so I cut it to separate from the rest of the video. Okay, so I'll back to the select mode. So in here, I already have the topic part. And then next, I will find out for the next voice, I will play. Yes, so Anda di sini nanti akan mendapatkan teori bagaimana berpikir cepat dan bagaimana berpikir lambat. So in this video, I mentioned that fast thinking and then slow thinking. It means that the dialogue part is suitable with the outline. So let me play the, the rest of the part. Yes. Dan kedua, bagaimana mengidentifikasi ketakutan? Bagaimana mengelolahnya? Okay. Dan ketiga adalah kita akan melakukan role play. Okay. So I already have the outline part of my audio so i'm using blade again and then i place here and then i tap once so it already cut it and then it will separate it will separate from first part the second part and then so yeah i will use the blade again and then i'll place here and then i'll cut it i already have the topic and then second i already have outline and then third one i already have range of time and then here i said that please guess my, about my story so i already have me and then here the next one all right so i mentioned regarding the interest so People will interest if they know that what they hear is related with their own purpose. So I will cut using blade over here. Okay, so now I already have all the intro audio, which is consists of five string of audio, and then here it is. I already have it. I think I will play again. Baik, selamat sore semuanya. Selamat sore. So, 
saya tadi siang makan siang. Ya, yeah, I was talking in bahasa Indonesia. I think I will use subtitle. So everyone that don't understand Indonesian language can also understand what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna use English. But first, I should find out the lower part as well. I think I will use this one. Let me delete this. I'll use this one. And I'll tap on the name because I want to insert. Yeah. Actually, it's not name. I want to uh, put subtitle. So I'll start good afternoon. I had lunch. I'll use subtitle here as well. And here as well. Yes. And I also will use this one to cover this. And last touch, to make ease for the participant ear, I just added a bit of music here yeah, to be put in this transition. Okay, voila. So the video is ready. Let's check it out. Baik, selamat sore semuanya. Selamat sore. So, saya tadi siang makan siang dan jujur di tempat ini, maksudnya di hotel ini, makanannya dari dulu sampai sekarang itu betul-betul tasty for me. So, saya akhirnya jadi excited. Semoga Anda juga waktu makan di kantin juga semangat ya. Training hari ini adalah Become confident as a food and beverage hotelier. Anda di sini semuanya di FB, right? Right. Ya, yes, Anda mau menjadi hotelier yang di departemen F&B yang confident, betul? Training ini makan waktu dua jam setengah saja, yes? Mas, kamu ini sudah berapa lama kerja di sini? Kok kamu nggak senyum? Kamu nggak tahu stick ini dari mana dagingnya? Oke, okay, panggil GM. Hey GM, ini anak buah kamu ini kok nggak ditrainingin? Kira-kira suara siapa ya? Owner. Ngomongnya ke siapa ya? Owner. Kenapa waiternya? Sepertinya dia tidak tahu product knowledge, right? Dan akhirnya siap akan dipanggil siapa yang akan dipanggil? Tentu manajer yang bertanggung jawab di situ atau even GM yang bertanggung jawab di situ, betul? Tentu anda pengen menjadi hotelier yang kerja di bidang food and beverage dengan percaya diri, confidence dan tidak. Ada ketakutan sama sekali Dan Anda bisa terus meningkatkan knowledge Anda Sehingga Anda bisa hidup lebih tenang gitu. <laughs> Yes <laughs> Kalau Anda misalnya di hotel hidupnya nggak tenang Maka itu akan kebawa di rumah Gitu So syukur-syukur ketika Anda tidur Terus besok Anda sudah excited kembali Anda di sini nanti akan mendapatkan Satu adalah berpikir cepat dan lambat dan kedua bagaimana mengidentifikasi ketakutan setiap manusia banyak ketakutan sehingga membuat mereka susah untuk berkembang dan setelah kita mengidentifikasi ketakutan bagaimana mengelolahnya oke okay? dan ketiga adalah kita akan melakukan role play pernah nggak ikut training dengan teori berpikir cepat dan lambat belum ya? So, berarti Anda ada di ruangan yang tepat, right? Yes? Oke, okay, so let's continue. 